Ted Grant, aka Wildcat, is one of the greatest heavyweight boxers of all time. And food for thought, when I do start my fighting training in real life, boxing is probably going to be the priority. I love the art of boxing. I'm not going to lie. Just the art of throwing hands just seems interesting to me. He went to become a founding member of the Justice Society of America. You know, the beans with Jay Garrick, Dr. Fade, characters, Alan Scott, those type of characters. I have videos about some of those members anyway. And the man who would train most of their members. So a lot of the people in Justice Society got fighting skills because of this guy, because he's like the fighter of the group. You know what I mean? He has to rely more on his fighting skills than his powers, right? They got powers and he doesn't necessarily have those supernatural crazy abilities. A lot of people even debate if he's one of the best martial artists in DC. He has like this ability or some would call it a blessing that gives him nine lives and decreases the ravages of time on his body. He is also the man who trained Black Canary and one of the men who trained Batman. He also has associations with Catwoman and Queen Hippolyta of Themyscira. But before I go any farther and show how good he actually is, I gotta give a shout out to those that have donated to the channel. It's really appreciated. Thanks a lot. It's been a change in the program. And I literally just repeated all this stuff. I'm just going to show you all lore right here. The origin of Wildcat, Grant Young, heavyweight boxer. Got his chance at title against his mentor. You know what I mean? It's literally what I said. I wasn't making this stuff up. It said, in his day, Wildcat trained Batman, Black Canary, Catwoman, and even Superman in the sweet science of boxing. You reach, I teach. Too slow. Wildcat taught me how to box when I was just starting out. He's still surprisingly tough. It is stated here, Wildcat is the finest boxer who ever lived, has studied and mastered a wide range of less traditional fighting styles as well, including Muay Thai, Krav Maga, the list below. He's also a skilled motorcyclist. More lore for you for Wildcat. Marvel and DC characters that don't necessarily have powers have insane combat speed and agility just from sheer training. Man, wouldn't it be nice to be able to train to these guys' levels in real life? But that isn't none of my business. Can we take the time to appreciate how he can just evade projectiles consistently, blitzing folks and etc. And just on raw agility and etc he can catch up to an actual car this is nothing new for dc characters being able to evade bullets ducking evasion and let's check out this blitz right here literally blitzed this dude took his gun and etc he even avoided multiple sources of automatic fire like different angles and everything and many of his scuffles with the other characters like power girl and jay garrick he evaded a hit from magog anybody else curious about how his lives work he talks about it right here if he's badly injured and ends up getting killed i guess he gets one of his lives back he like pretty much recovers completely so it's like say if he was on the battlefield injured and he was useless you might as well go ahead and kill him so he can heal all the way up so he can be a helpful asset on the field if that makes sense it states here captain nazi's offhand slap killed me so that i could recover completely you know literally got killed just to recover completely so he just he's not just gonna resurrect like broken bone while he was like useless on the battlefield or something like he's gonna be in peak physical condition makes sense right ted's abilities are a little weird always has like nine lives to the point where you have to kill him nine times straight before he can recover all the way for you to really kill him if that makes sense it states here by mr terrific when your people executed him last year they had to do it nine times in rapid succession to make it stick he's been punched through walls before reacting to two super punches at once reacting to him not scaling him to magog but he did endure blast from magog though got to give him credit where credit is due a lot of people have the mindset that the more fighting styles you know that the person that has more fighting style is automatically going to win if you're a real fighter in real life or in ufc or just in fighting in general you know you can never underestimate your opponent and you can always lose to somebody that has less fighting styles than you depending on how smart they are and intellectual in the battle you can read this panel for panel it states here his hands were that lethal and fast black canary's talking by the way i was just a kid when i first saw him box he's gotten plenty of battle feats like in this occasion fighting mr terrific as you can see right here using them hands and mr t's too slow he's got his power but it's like he can't use it right intricacies of fighting uppercut baby battle feed with wildcat june year you know what i mean just showing his different skills and agilities he's a were panther find it funny how wildcat roasts super villains how they be monologuing about their entire master plan wildcat he's aware of this writing style <laughs> i know right so much skills that he's even fought 12 brothers in silk you're probably wondering why the heck is fighting the 12 brothers in silk and Presso? they're literally a fearsome group that were hired to defeat the birds of prey you know with black canary and them so yeah that's how you know they're a beast if they were hired to take on characters like this wildcat was able to do this impressive by the way this was some of the 12 brothers in silk not all of them but still impressive regardless here's a flashback of his boxing days just to get an idea of, just to give an idea of why so good 
ended his career ridiculous body you youngin meanwhile he's just fighting a group of guys reminiscing encyclopedic knowledge on other boxers like he literally states the last guy fought like sugar ray leonard this guy fights like dempsey same stance same rhythm you know he's fighting multiple folks this one fights like frazier and this one fights like ali he's fighting like groups of them man he was even stated here i was kind of hoping they'd attack all at once so he knows he can handle them all remember those 12 brothers in silk yeah, he's fought one of them here. You soldiers ain't ready, bro. He's definitely a the super soldier. At least he's fighting like these werewolves, like straight up fist fighting, right? Meaning that if he was in a vampire movie or werewolf movie like Team Wolf or something, he would be able to hold his ground or defeat them all. <laughs> Proving he doesn't have normal level of strength. And plus, he's just a box. He just got those hands. So, there was this organization called the Fourth Reach. It was this neo Nazi organization. It was formed by Vandal Savage and things like that. A whole bunch of superpowered beings in there. And Wildcat, no surprise, has fought these beings as well. One of the Fourth Reach folk reacting and combating them. This guy, Wildcat, though, this guy fought the entire Injustice Society, you know, the opposite of the Justice Society of America. And he's doing well against all these beings with a broken arm, might. I add. By the way, being able to do this to these other beings, he's not necessarily only using boxing, by the way. He even fought like this Hawkman projection this one time, showing his different type of skill. Yepity yep. Look, he fought the Gentleman Ghost in this occasion. Disarms him in the process. Another battlefield with the other leaguers, you know, they go power girl over there. Implied he knows how to wield a sword or use a sword at least, right? Gotta be a little bit more versatile, right? Got in a slugfest and got in a, like, a fight with depowered Vixen, as you can see. Yeah, it shows here. Vixen is pretty good fighter in her own right. He fought a Sportsmaster, another pretty decent fighter. Kind of taught a lesson reacting to him, countering him. He can't really do too much. Then he getting to curb some breast has fractured his nose with that left hook caused him some teeth bro just accept your l man wildcat loves to work out because it gives himself an adrenaline rush they even stay here each one amped up with adrenaline itching for a scrap and he says this is his kind of workout night night more folks gets tossed they're not ready they're getting destroyed and they are finished light work to me he even goes as far as saying that i feel like tonight i can take on a thousand of these guys showing that these guys were just cannon fodder fought this really large group of beings wasn't joking about that they have really good skill on their own oh yeah by the way he does no kickboxing ha <laughs> just because y'all know other boxings doesn't mean you can beat ted even in the rebirth era stuff it's proven right here that jay garrett got training from ted grant wildcat as a freaking speedster that's freaking scary wildcat knows the special korean punch it's a way for a small person to hit a big person and not break her hand he's teaching people folks things like this it states that nobody in the world throws that exact punch, not even Shiva, one of the best fighters in DC, period. I showed a little bit of this earlier, but it shows that he's a competent fighter, fighting alongside characters like Black Canary and some of the greatest fighters as such. It's the, it even states here, Huntress is here, Richard Dragon is here, and even Connor Hall. So he got his hands up like in a boxing style, let's go. And you can see here him putting in the work along with Huntress, Canary, and etc. I'm showing it in clear quality here. All right, so you just want proof of the fact that he has more than boxing. It's literally stated here. Powers, weapons. He also has other fighting styles on top of it. It's proof of it here. And even kickboxing like I showed earlier. That awkward moment when Wildcat had like a romantic relationship with Time Displaced Hippolyta. Yeah, mother to Wonder Woman. <laughs> All that extra stuff aside, he can strike hard enough to break guns. Beat up Grundy this one time. Remember that Grundy's power level changes significantly. Significantly, and that's a part of his power set but this is still impressive look at the damage they're doing with their fighting battle feet with grundy night night fought two boxers two pro boxers knockout sleep time folks with one arm knocks moose out the ring it's property damage yeah he's causing environmental damage like you just pick up stuff like that too easy talking about vice grip strength like he's able to hold on to something that's moving this fast you carry somebody encased in thick ice like it's just like no big deal strength threw a man hard enough to chip stone got enough grip to hold on to jay garrett while he's speeding just yeah let you know the grip you know how strong you got to be to crack prison prison glass stuff that's made to keep people in one-handed lifting like 200 pound people up that's harder than you think vice grip enough to restrain wildcat jr he punches hard enough to lock somebody down the hall by the way look at the distance of that punch cracking the glass in the process i showed this panel a little earlier but it's a little clear quality of him fighting the entire injustice society people with abilities and everything the members that he's fighting here is johnny sorrow count vertigo icicle golden wasp tigress it's ridiculous He's a sub-zero psychopath, you know, icicle. If you can respect it, arm messed up and everything. You can see the little thing on him. Still has skills enough to hold his ground. Miraculously countering, throws her, making him boxing, punch, insane, battle feet, 
Seriously, how the heck did he survive this encounter? That's right, Wildcat has even fought the man, the myth, the legend himself, Batman. If you had your doubts about him being in that Super Soldier tier, well, he's fought freaking Batman, so let that sink in. Check this out, mask on and everything. They go on at it panel for panel, countering one another. You see he tries to convince them off that they're fighting each other, being tricked into fighting each other. You can see like them kicking and stuff, boxing. Batman, he's no light work either because he can box too. Punches his mask off, just like that. It wasn't that long of a fight though, but it's showing that they can't hang on par with each other. He can hang with Batman, but they ended up working together to fight their way out of this debacle. If that, you know, fighting metahumans, proving that he's also in that range. No cap. Died. Punch, punch, even though these dudes are bigger than them. And then they work together. And yes, there is a pre-crisis Ted Grant. You know, the stuff that happened before the Crisis on Infinite Earths event. Yeah, but yeah, it's kind of like identical to the current stuff. You know what I mean? Still a boxer by every stretch of the imagination. Yeah, he still loves boxing a whole lot in pre-crisis day. But for the most part, Wildcat usually teams up with Batman in his comics. You know what I'm saying? Respect Wildcat, though. He's more than just a boxer. He's just insane in all aspects. He definitely belongs with the Batman tiers and all the crazy tiers that DC had. <laughs> Fighting on par with Batman is no easy feat because remember that Batman can literally rip chains apart, held a large portion of a roof with his bare hands, don't forget. So Batman's stronger than you think. But check out those playlists, y'all. Respect Wildcat. I will see you later on the channel.